Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. It's underscore Gintu back again. Today I'm very jovial and uh, very relaxed. And uh, if it's your first time you checking me, it's underscore Gintu back again to this route. And today I'm just taking a little look onto my fish ponds here and making sure that everything is going in a systematic way. And uh, guys, uh, let me say that is because uh, it has been. Uh, a very fantastic day and uh, god has granted to us uh, day and day so i'm here to check and making sure that everything is sealed onto this position uh, once and for all as today i'm here to check on these uh, biggest fish pond as uh, we have some of uh, the seepages and the leakages that are uh, uh, making this fish pond to not uh, go full of water as I have made everything in a uh, condense that I want to stock some fish here and uh, guys, uh, You can even see from this position. We have much of water coming out from this fish pond uh, It is the first one and the big fish pond here You can even see how what is coming out from this position So it means that uh, we have a problem with this fish pond. It was not uh, highly compacted at this position and uh, that's why even you can even see what is a little bit to penetrate. So I've just done that because uh, uh, it was under maintenance practices before I could just stock some fish onto uh, this position. And now what is very, very clear, it's not yet uh, greenish in color uh, because I've not started some fertilization. Because I talked about uh, whenever we finish um, uh, this kind of harvesting, we dry the pond. Then after drying, this is the kind of drying I'm just talking about. This is the drying, as you can even see some of uh, uh, the zooplantons and also some of uh, the grass have started uh, uh, coming out from this fish pond. It means that uh, now the drying is good onto uh, this position. So after now drying it, you can now seal like uh, this position here and uh, you can seal it. As you can see what is uh, street passing and getting out, you can even seal this position and make sure that um, the fish pond now water is accumulating up. After now sealing and water has uh, accumulated as this fish pond here, it means that uh, now you will start what is called fertilization of the pond, which is enriching water with fata, fa, uh, enriching water with fertility, which is a uh, nutrients favorable for the growth of zooplanktons and phytoplanktons. Phytoplanktons are algae, and the zooplanktons are the uh, plants which uh, grow underwater. That even the so um, uh, they have minerals and uh, talk about they have nutrients uh, favorable for the growth of fish whenever they want to eat uh, the. Uh, and it's more favorable for the small fish like uh, the uh, uh, fingerlings and um uh, you know, sometimes we talk about uh, even me. I was uh, dedicatively told by my of the officials who always come here to oversee how things are moving onto this field. Uh, he told me that uh, I should make sure that I am buying a little bit bigger fingerlings, not even uh, more than uh, zero point uh, or more than uh, five grams, so as uh, it can. Whenever it comes here, it has already. Uh, climatized sometimes and also it can come here and it will resist some of uh, the sicknesses and also it will be whenever the, the the frogs you have frogs here sometimes you can never treat the fish pond and say that uh, everything is good so you can be finding that maybe the frogs are there like toad poles uh, like i've just started some of um, this video you saw some toad poles are uh, uh, just congesting at the frog the mother and uh, so you can find that uh, they are now chasing the fish you are just bringing here so it will be chaos whenever you have bring some small of them and be eaten here and to this fish pond so uh, i'm encouraged to get that into that focus so this fish pond tomorrow is going to be sealed so as uh, we're going to be having uh, water accumulating so it has dried uh, into an extent of now we can allow water to accumulate and to eat because whenever we just uh, get a little bit time uh, the phytoplankton the zooplanktons and the phytoplankton too they are now coming out of the grass so it might affect the fish pond if we delay a little bit uh, uh, without allowing water to come in so guys uh, this soil that's inside here it's uh, silt and also it's con um, combined with the uh, clay soil so this kind of the silt it can never be used in um, making uh, the dikes 
because uh, whenever you just uh, say that you want to use that kind of the soil and to filling the dikes it means that uh, it will be very loose and it will not be highly compacted because uh, it's very uh, uh, smooth so it cannot uh, have that compactness as uh, it's even wet so it will bring some chaos so i'm not going to use that one i'm going to use uh, the silt that uh, has uh, dried up because you can just remember whenever this fish pond uh, uh, had a damage which is uh, a collateral damage and the collapsing of the fish pond here so there's uh, the stuffs that i moved from this position and i throwed them and to the other position so this is the soil i'll be using to make sure that i'm strengthening that position as it will be the last and the, uh it was the last time because uh, i will never open it again like the way i'm just opening it uh by by the digging by the digging but uh, now i'll just insert a pipe that will help me to drain water out from this fish pond so this is the silt that has uh, dried up that was removed from uh, this fish pond here and to this position so uh, by this one here now it's good and favorable for the use to seal all the seepages that might be hindering our fish pond not to accumulate much of the water and uh, and to this position wow i have this kind of the timbers down here and uh, these ones are uh, sometimes uh, they help in uh, uh, Whenever I talk about helping is um, uh, uh, we have a uh, gary erosion. Whenever we have uh, a fish pond breakage and uh, maybe we have a uh, collateral damage like uh, collapsing of the land uh, and to the fish pond. So we can just use such kind of the timbers to reinforce. So they are called uh, manual gary. Uh, you can just call them uh, 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 that can just help to withstand the strength of uh, the fish pond not to collapse like this one here you can even see guys uh, it's just a little bit collapsing to uh, inside here because uh, this soil is a little bit loose so it might be collapsing time to time because uh, it's a little bit looser whenever even I drain some water out it gets more looser and it's just uh, being swept inside because uh, much of the water that's coming onto the fish pond like this one here it's coming from the upper section which is this area here and even all the fish ponds even this fish pond here what is coming from the top side and accumulating onto the fish pond but uh, uh, right now here the second fish pond too is uh, full of water and very clean but this is not a uh, much of the time i can just speak about uh, i cannot dry in such kind of clear water because uh, of uh, some challenges as you can even see uh, from top to the bottom of uh, uh, this fish pond as you can see from this position you can even see the bottom so it's very risky for one to uh, stock here some fish because of the predator birds and uh, predator people as uh, whenever you stock here you can just have uh, or you can find yourself uh, this kind of uh, the fish are being eaten now and then so uh, i want to be checking to one of the guys who always uh, has a fish pond here told me today i just passed through there so as i see whatever is just happening there so i might be going there to see the anestos fish pond which is lying onto a marrow uh, wall there and i want to be seeing what is happening from that position as i will be rectifying water is the mistake that has been done as things are moving forward correctly and everything is very fantastic guys let's take a look and we move together let's take a look <sighs> Just trying to jump from this position as we have uh, this place is very waterly everywhere. So we have a small river. So here there's no maze that can even uh, encounter such much of water that's uh, congested here. We have a pathway. This is for the foot only because uh, you can never pass inside here with a maybe a bike or something else <coughs> wow this is one of uh, the guys who have the fish ponds on to this side and uh, i can just say that uh, it's coming to be one of the good and it's turning water into green which is uh, more good for the rearing of fish Wow, I think it has some fish because I can see from that far end there's some fish. 
Let me see. Oh, they have disappeared. But there are fish inside here, but small. This is not for Anesto. Anesto's one is here. Let me go through it. <laughs> this is Anesto's fish pond here. And you can see how what is coming up. So they have put an outlet here. Wow. It's very nice. And uh, now I think uh, the algae is coming out from this position. Wow. They are trying a little bit to dig here so as they can levelize this position until the far end, the top side. But uh, everything is awesome. Let me check how things are running as I can uh, manage and tell what is happening and what is not happening here. But uh, we have a problem here because uh, as you can see, this fish pond is uh, having uh, a damage because uh, it's uh, uh, collapsing towards uh, inside and uh, it's reducing the size of the fish pond because uh, <laughs> initially it was up to this position here but now you can even see what is happening here there's a little problem wow they are trying to levelize this position i like this wow i like this they're trying to levelize this position so as uh, they can have much of a uh, time well to relax and even this place is going to be very fantastic i like this wow the fish pond is good there's no mismanagement a little bit but they have tried to uh, put some of uh, the bags here oh i see some i don't know how you can just call this let me check it this one oh it's not in it has gone I don't know if it's the snail I think so this is the snail Wow that's the snail Wow everything is very good so guys uh, I like to see uh, some uh, young men who have just encouraged so as they can practice uh, fish farming because uh, it has money at the end and uh, it's only you to determine and be focused on what you want to do because uh, there's no one who is just going to come and uh, help you to do such kind of the works you are the one to determine yourself i want to do this i want to be doing this and everything going to be moving very fantastic hey, i can hear such kind of a voice from far let me reach there the that's the, the predators have the predators that uh, do come always to check if the fish are just uh, uh, being put onto the fish pond. such kind of a bird it's just uh, onto the tree let me check that bird wow oh, it is an ego it's an ego This kind of uh, the sticks are just placed here and they are tying some cows here so it's bringing some arm to me so we have an ego there let me check it from that to see it's there <laughs> wow. 
that than eagle so it was looking for maybe a nest maybe you know how we have small birds so whenever it gets a nest there all small birds can even eat them wow fantastic guys uh, from an outlook of how things are just moving from this segment it means that uh, you can just remember I talked about uh, I'm going to have uh, one of the fish ponds uh, being uh, to subjected to some people who will be uh, we can talk about the needy people and also to support the environment to grow as much of the people don't have uh, uh, they are just low in terms of income and everything like that I had supposed or I have the, proposed myself that uh, I want to be uh, making sure that this fish pond is uh, being sealed as uh, we're gonna be having water here and stocking some fish to uh, help the environment or help the people who are in need and i have another suggestion it was just a, a suggestion to uh, and how people are gonna be uh, talking about uh, what i'm going to do uh, with it so i had another proposal because uh, sometimes whenever you sit down and relax you can just uh, have uh, other proposal coming out like uh, i want to be making sure that uh, these fish ponds are here let me stock them once then whenever i sell fish then i'll just know that maybe 20 percent will be going to they need the people or uh, it will be going to the orphanage or it will be going to uh, uh, the elderly so that's what I want to do because uh, whenever I say that uh, one fish pond is uh, for, for them so uh, some people will be asking themselves how will it be theirs who is who is going to take care of it so uh, I was just uh, sitting and I uh, was relaxed and I was beeping my mind was beeping as I could just uh, be proposing that uh, let the fish pond be for uh, not only one be for uh, the people who are just in need but also I can just uh, uh, supposedly talk about uh, all the fish ponds be stocked then uh, uh, at the end when I'm just selling some fish I'll just uh, dedicate that uh, from this fish and to this fish ponds here uh, the 20% or 30% or 40% or 50% uh, will be going to the needy people and the 50% restock then uh, regenerate or uh, restock again the fish and to this position so my proposal was about uh, 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 even the YouTube channel I've just talked about me changing the name I might be opening a new YouTube channel which is uh, Gintu Foundation as uh, we're gonna be helping much of uh, the needy people and to the surrounding and maybe very soon because I'm planning on how uh, and uh, selecting the people who are just in need and uh, making sure that uh, I'm getting the full details about them and what they want so as I can even purchase some two three things to them and uh, bring them uh, bring to their attentions because uh, you can never come out uh, like me and uh, maybe purchase some sugar or purchase uh, a little bit of um, uh, eateries and uh, go with them there maybe they are not using them maybe uh, they have some complications from the hospitals maybe they have uh, uh, other prescriptions of what they're going to be using so I have to uh, make sure that I go and I synthesize what they need and how they are so as I can know what to purchase to them and what not to purchase to them because uh, you can never know the doctor's prescription to them and also uh, uh, the platform it might be starting tomorrow as uh, I've just always recognized uh, two of them who I'm going to see tomorrow and I have already appointment to them as tomorrow I'm going to be holding uh, a little of a moment to talk to them and uh, know what is the start and how can we prevent that from happening because much of them it's stress yeah, it's bringing some of uh, the stroke and also uh, paralysis and uh, I can never know much about that because I'm going to be holding uh, uh, that moment because of today so as tomorrow I'm going to be talking much more about uh, that uh, kind of uh, the, 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 the sickness that is happening to our people are just surrounding us and we get more of uh, the time to know what is happening to them and also I can just reveal that uh, 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 whenever I grew up guys uh, I ever I never grew up in a uh, uh, we can talk about it was not an organized family that even you can say that oh uh, I grew in a good family even me I grew uh, in a family of a peasant father and mother parents who are very peasant farmers 
and uh, I grew up knowing that uh, maybe tomorrow it was not that uh, you eat today, you eat three hours a day, you eat twice a day. It was maybe whatever you get in the morning is what is there. So that's what how I grew up until uh, I ever recognized myself that uh, uh, even my father was always talking about uh, I don't have any plot to give you guys. It's either you hustle good and uh, you make something and buy other plots outside apart from uh, depending on the ancestral land. So that's how I used to encourage myself that uh, maybe one day I'll have uh, uh, my own blood and uh, maybe build some things that I want to discover and uh, even whenever I see some small children and to the village and uh, they don't have clothes sometimes you know such kind of the problems so I do always uh, think about myself how I was uh, because even me it was not that uh, I could just even wear uh, a long trouser like the way I'm just wearing a long trouser today I used to have one of the biggest shirt you know a shirt so uh, it was like a t-shirt and um, I was just uh, my my mother used to uh, give me only one shirt that is very long I don't know if it was for my brother I don't know if it was for my father I don't know but it was only one and it was left hanging until the knees so I could just wear it alone as it will act as a a, 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 a trouser or a shot and also it will act as a a, a windbreaker which is a maybe talk about a like a shirt onto the top so it was acting twice because it was very long i can just remember that shirt it was green in color and i used to love it because uh, whenever it reaches lunch time there i was uh, uh they wash me then i just clad that shirt even have some pictures that even uh, revolve such kind of uh, 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 the time i was that was a uh, 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 2000s there 2004 5 there so you can just remember even right now guys there are people who are just wearing one shirt from top to the bottom so you can even uh, whenever i just pass through the village not all, all villages uh, have that good life to live and also whenever i came from where i just saw it because uh, I started depending on myself, I started uh, making my own things, so that's why even you can see me having this kind of the fish ponds here, as uh, it was not an easy journey for me to have such kind of uh, this kind of the things. So uh, for the people who are just watching the video, it was my concern that uh, maybe uh, I'll just stock the fish, then uh, uh, after the end, I'll now know how to uh maybe give a little bit of what i have because i'll just dedicate myself maybe 10 percent or 20 percent so as i can give to the needy people and uh, also guys uh, it has been a, a long journey because uh you know uh the time and how things are just running and uh I really appreciate you are always the motivation so you are always uh, giving me uh much of uh i see a kid there with some cows so I was about to say, hey, the kid might be armed from that position. So I was to tell the kid that the cows are passing because there were of the guys there passing with some cows. So sometimes you might not be, <laughs> you can find you are just walking, you don't have, a, uh, you don't know what's happening at the backyard. You find yourself being uh, kicked with a cow. So that's how life is. And uh, guys, uh, uh, that's how the life gonna be unto the village and uh, tomorrow I've just talked about I'm gonna be having such kind of a conversation with the, the people who are in need much and attention to the people of the village because uh, I've gone to uh, see uh, one of uh, the mentors I do have at the village and uh, I just talked to the guy and uh, I asked the guy what might be the, the the much problem that is just happening to the village because uh, most of the guys now are paralyzing much of the guys are being stalked i don't know what's what's happening to the village and uh, i want to be going deep into it and see what might be the issue maybe we can just educate the other people who are just outside here or uh, young people who are just growing so as uh, maybe some things might be hindering your emotions maybe they did something bad maybe the culture maybe uh, uh, the tradition it's not allowing them to do such kind of thing they're going to be 
explaining to us maybe they might not be having uh, that a little of uh, uh, literacy of uh, maybe speaking English I might be talking to them then I translate because uh, much of the people of the elderly uh, even right now guys they they don't know English I can just reveal that because uh, uh, they never been subjected into schools because of the fee even right now that's why people you can just find people maybe walking at the town talking about oh this guy is good maybe a uh, clad in good maybe he has a good job maybe most of the guys are farmers and I, I'm just grieving this most of the people are farmers even my father and my my mother uh, they were farmers they that's why we grew and became who we are so we are subjected into education and even me I can just re, uh, tell you that uh, the much of the things that paid my fee it was uh, kills they just pluck kills and uh, 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 compact it onto the uh, sack then they wait then they know the kind of the weight because uh, the school always proposed for them which can uh, 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 the weight that uh, of the kills that gonna be uh, being needed onto the school so they wait then they bring it via the motorbike no during that time my father had a bicycle exactly so that bicycle uh, they just put their such kind of the kills then he drive it to the school not even climbing on it or and doing this way this way this way no it's just uh, standing aside then you push it via the hands there's no uh, uh, making or uh, cycling there's no cycling so it come it was like a two three kilometers from home it was like five kilometers from home exactly then he just push it with, via the hands until the school he comes there then he he, he talks to the basa i bring the scales though i was eating my feet too because if the kills are my fee i was eating that fee too because uh you know even that fee you bring there it, it goes to purchase some uh, maybe maize for cooking maybe for a uh, puree maybe beans there you can never know about that one so uh that's how the life was i can just remember my life and maybe one day i'll do that kind of a video because uh, from primary school and even the high school i went we had much of the time and even i have a history to the school how things went and how uh, i was pulled there because during that time i was a little bit smaller so i found uh, people uh, during that time they were so big and uh, the prefect had a mandate to can you like a teacher so i can just reveal that i did work in form one Ah, <laughs> during that time, I can just remember Major was uh, two classes in front of me, and uh, it was a big bazoo during that time. Even uh, hey, Major, I don't know what's happening to Major, but uh, God knows what's happening. And uh, Major was in front of me, two classes. I was in Form One, Major was in Form Three. Now during that time, and uh, was a very good footballer, and I knew Major's footballer. It was called Dan footballer. So, whenever I reached there, even the people from Nyabuansa like Dan was never being seen and it was a very big bazoo during that time. So, just remember now who I am now from one. So, I've been, I was being hit like a Cherokee drum during that time and uh, uh, you can find uh, maybe you have two beds at, uh, at your school. Then maybe you sleep down, another guy sleeps, it was a double decker, we call it double decker here. Maybe someone is down, another one is uh, on top. So the first day I was put uh, on top of uh, another guy. Then uh, he talked about, uh, you know, you small boy, now I'm your son, you are, I'm your father. So you are my son. So during the uh, high school time, you talk about uh, this is my son, this is my father, because of the guy who is. Uh, but uh, you talk about he is my father or uh, this is my son while you are protecting that guy. But that guy that I was given, so as you sleeps down of the bed, I sleep on top. It was now the rudest person ever possible I saw. Because I, <laughs> he was he was just talking about, did you sweep the door? Because from once, or whenever you report to school, from once, uh, always wash the, uh, uh, the dormitories, uh, you know, it's from one, even not from two, because uh, even those from twos, they pass through that one. Even from ones, whenever you get from one, you are the people until you get to form two, you are the people to wash that dome until you get from two. So even uh, those from twos now, whenever from one comes, now you'll be relieved as, uh, uh, as now you have graduated from that. Then you find that uh, even the person who is just maybe is a form three or a form four, I was given a form four during that time. 
I washed his clothes, guys. I am telling you the fact I washed his clothes. Because whenever I don't wash, I will just wash so as I can survive. During the night, maybe I never attended to wash the, the, the dormitory. Maybe at the morning, I never swept. You get to say that, oh, this is my son here. Uh, I had, uh, had just uh, uh, asked him to do some things to me. So leave him alone. That was a little bit of me. So, <laughs> but... Uh, I was being caned because even the the, the head boy, uh, they talk about the president of the high schools. He can just even he has mandates than even the teachers. It was now like when now we have a, a principal, we have deputy principal, then we have a senior teacher, then we have boarding master, then we have now the president who is now the uh, the school prefect, the big boy now. Hey. Whenever the other big boy catches you, he can hit you like a chair, even he can suspend you from the school. So during that time, it was very easy for a Form 1 to be ruled the way they want. Because uh, during that time, hey guys, they are history. So out here, until I reached in Form, uh, form 1, Term 2, I was given a prefect of the class. Then a little bit, whenever you're a prefect, you go for the sittings, you know. Uh, uh, sittings and something else so during that time some people are talking about this boy I don't like this boy because uh, during that time uh, even me that guy now I was uh, washing some clothes to him he told me now be rude because these people will but be rude but not to him you know I have to wash the clothes to him be rude to other prefects so <laughs> People have, uh, are very funny, very funny guys. So that's how I, I survived in that school of being now a prefect. Then uh, I could just do some other things that uh, 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 other people are just doing. And also, uh, I have a history that uh, uh, during that time of I was Form 1, I performed my, my work very better because I was a class prefect. Then I was promoted to my dormitory. I was in Form 1, so that guy of Form 4 made a deal uh, to the boarding master and the prefect and I talked about this guy can do very best in uh, dormitories so I was given a prefect in that dorm I was sleeping during that time and uh, now during that time uh, I saw that this is now the opportunity for me to make sure that uh, all this uh, dictatorship that is happening onto this dorm is going to be uh, cancelled and everything going to be very fine because during that time we came from Nyabuhansa like um, 13 students from Nyabuhansi and uh, the the dorm I was sleeping I was like uh, we were two people from Nyabuhansi the others are reallocated to other dorms then I talked about now I'm a dorm, dorm prefect so I have to do what I want to do so during even I was a prefect but making sure that I am I am I am washing the clothes of that guy because he told me I'm going to make you a big person in this school but in one condition Make sure that I'm ever clean. My uniform is ever clean. So I respect the that. And uh, <laughs> it was a lesson during that time. I could be big, but in one condition, I have to wash the clothes of that guy and uh, make sure that uh, I have ironed them. It was a very neat guy, but he doesn't even... But very, very, very poor in class. <laughs> I don't know why, because whenever the results were always announced, I usually see him at the back, <laughs> but very clean, very neat. I don't know why. And um, uh, and I can just reveal that uh, even whenever you see me, I don't have some beards, guys. I don't have beards. He was the guy who was all, every morning, he had a chemical. I don't know which kind of a chemical I can just reveal it was. He was just applying and shaving with it. It was like a black charcoal and shaving with it. So I used to get it. Then I, I shave. Uh, even me, I was just applying. I never had the beard, but uh, I was applying it. So that's why even me right now, if you can never see even, even one beard here. No one. Because I was applying such kind of a chemical. And I never knew the impact of it. So because I was telling, oh. These beds are becoming so rude to me because I, 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 I appear to be an old aged person. So I have to make sure that I'm still young. But he told me I'm, very, I'm a very big person. So from that position now you can even reveal uh, what I mean. So from there now I started uh, engaging much of the students who were from Nyabuanse and were from my tribe mostly because uh, that school had another tribe who were very many in that school because of, uh, uh, we talk about um, 
we have uh, 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 the body which is uh, governing the school even from the teachers uh, the TTP and something until the principal much of them they were from that uh, tribe so uh, they were encouraged with, uh, from uh, another tribe so the people from Kurian here mostly we were a little bit not more and if, uh, even from Nyabuanza so uh, from that brutality we were facing I saw that oh it's now an opportunity for me to bring my uh, uh, clan and my tribe closer to me so as I can give them some beds to that uh, uh, dormitory. So when I reached now form two, now as I, I was now a big person, now form two in term one I was given uh, a good mandate of now being a, 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 a governing all the dormitories during that time. So I was now the person to talk to the boarding master and tell the boarding master that uh, maybe one dome has three beds, maybe which how many beds because for months are coming. So I took my brothers from Nyabuhansi and I placed them to one dormitory. So as we can just sleep there and uh, evacuate from their brutality because we were being hit like sherry drums. We were a little bit smaller, smaller now during that time. So some people are talking, hey, is this, this is a very small kid. Oh, you are now like a class seven so we were just you know such kind of the things so this story is coming so as uh, you can just talk about uh, uh you can never know who you are today maybe you can uh, say that uh, maybe today i am uh, a small guy i don't have any mandate today but tomorrow is another day because uh, uh things do evolve from uh, how you see it to how it's coming so from the people who are just getting such kind of a story, you can just relate it to what I mean, because it's a story. Sometimes I get stories that are, are, are becoming more good to the people who are just listening to it. And you can even get to the point I'm always delivering home, because everything has its own probability. So keep it watching, keep it tuned. I'm going to be giving you more of the things coming out from this segment as we are going to do much of the things better and better for our tomorrow. So keep it in touch, keep it locked. Things are coming outside here very locked. I love you guys. Bop! We have uh, 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 the body, which is uh, governing the school, even from the teachers, uh, the TTP, and something, until the principal. Much of them, they were from that uh, tribe. So uh, they were encouraged with, uh, from uh, another tribe. So the people from Kurian here, mostly, we were a little bit, not more. And if, even from Nyabuanza. So uh, from that brutality we were facing, I saw that, oh, it's now an opportunity for me to bring my uh, uh, clan and my tribe closer to me so as I can give them some beds to that uh, uh, dormitory. So when I reached now form two, now as I, I was now a big person, now form two in term one I was given uh, a good mandate of now being a, 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 a governing all the dormitories during that time. So I was now the person to talk to the boarding master and tell the boarding master that uh, maybe one dome has three beds, maybe which how many beds because for months are coming. So I took my brothers from Nyabuhansi and I placed them to one dormitory. So as we can just sleep there and uh, evacuate from their brutality because we were being hit like sherry drums. We were a little bit smaller, smaller now during that time. So some people are talking, hey, is this, this is a very small kid. Oh, you are now like a class seven. So we were just, you know, such kind of the things. So this story is coming. So as uh, you can just talk about, uh, uh, you can never know who you are today. Maybe you can uh, say that uh, maybe today I am uh, a small guy. I don't have any mandate today. But tomorrow is another day because uh, uh, things do evolve from uh, how you see it to how it's coming. So from the people who are just uh, getting such kind of a story, you can just relate it to what I mean, because it's a story. Sometimes I get stories that are, 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 are becoming more good to the people who are just uh, listening to it. And uh, you can even get to the point uh, I'm always delivering home, because uh, everything has its own uh, probability. So keep it watching, keep it tuned. I'm going to be giving you more of the things coming out from this segment as we are going to do much of the things better and better for our tomorrow. So keep it in touch, keep it locked. Things are coming outside here very locked. I love you guys!
Bop!